Hey everyone, welcome back. David History for the Ages here. So I have an artist I want to talk about, a man named Otto Dix. Not very well known. Usually when I talk about him in class, my students don't know who he is. And he was this amazing World War I artist. Well, most of his art came kind of right after World War I. And what we know about him, a little background, and I'll explain these images. So he was from Germany, right, 1891 to uh, 1969. And he was just son of a rail worker, middle class type family. And he was part during World War I of a very important battle called the Battle of Somme. And that battle was brutal. I have a whole um, playlist on my World War I lectures, and I have one particular battle on trench warfare. Um, you just watch that, and you'll get a really good idea what the Battle of the Somme was all about. And he was, uh, so he fought in the war, and then from fighting in World War I, it's where you get his strong art that I'm going to show you a couple more images of. Um, after World War I, eventually we get the, you know, the rise of Nazis, World War II. He did not like the Nazis. He was actually forced to be part of what was called the German uh, Reich Chamber of Fine Arts. And he actually didn't like the Nazis. Um, he didn't like Hitler. Uh, he was actually arrested at one point for these kind of false charges that he was plotting to kill Hitler. Um, he was never really part of that. And then he was released. Um, eventually we see these images of it. So this is one called Wounded Man. And this is kind of, if you see this, I mean, you see the guy just gripping his chest and this is like trench warfare and what it felt like to be in trench warfare. You see the, the pain and the suffering. And I use this image when I talk about my World War I lecture because before World War I began, everyone thought the war would be easy and it would be fast, it would be over by, you know, a matter of months and it dragged on and on. And, you know, one of the things I tell my students is that World War I kind of destroyed and suck the soul of humanity right that's what it did and you know you really see this in these images right and you see the pain and suffering in his face um, and that's one image and this is another one the shock troops advancing under gas and you know for this one when I look at this image it reminds me of like some authoritarian totalitarian nation or some kind of you know nightmarish world and these images of his are very dark, right? They're very, you know, um, intense. But I think it kind of is a great example of what was the before World War I thinking and the after, like the disillusionment of humanity that we see as a result of World War I. So, you know, I wanted to show you a couple of pictures of his, give you a quick little background on him. If you really want to learn about World War I, just check out my playlist. I'll leave it right here. You can kind of go and check my playlist on World War I. The Trench Warfare is definitely the most powerful one in that series. Uh, but if you want to watch the whole series, that would be great. All right. So hopefully you learned a little bit about a new artist. Everyone take care. Thank you for watching.